Do you have a tube of paint that's just so stubborn it will not squirt, it will not squeeze, it has dried in the tube? Well, I have some tricks that will help you get that stubborn paint out of the tube. So it's actually pretty simple if you've got paint that's dried in the tube, but it's still fairly malleable within the tube. Like this tube of Daniel Smith, it has dried right here, but it is still fairly malleable. This is a fairly easy fix. We're going to soak it in some water for a little bit, and that's just gonna kinda reactivate the paint that's dried at the tip. We also have a small pair of sharp pointed tweezers. We're just gonna use that to kinda pick the dried paint out. And then we have a paint saver key, which will provide a little extra tension and help us get that paint out. And that was really useful for getting a stubborn tube of undersea green to kinda work its magic again. So we're gonna let the paint kinda sit for a few minutes, just kinda get it going, try to get it moving. This might be very similar to a natural process some of us are very familiar with, eat more fiber friends. So I'm gonna switch camera angles because this is a two-handed operation. All right, so after it's sat for a couple of minutes, you can start poking and prying at it with your tweezers. You can use a bobby pin and we can kind of see that a clump has dried. So we're just gonna use our tweezers to kind of pick that out. We're gonna clean that out in a moment. And oh look, we almost don't even need the paint saver tube at all. Sometimes it gets so stuck in there that you do need something to provide a little extra force. But honestly, the paint and saver tubes are really easy to use and they just make it a lot easier move these out of the way. They make it a lot easier to just get the paint out of the tube itself. So if you've had a tube for, that you don't really use for a few years, you know it can get kind of stubborn, it can get kind of bulky. bulky. So we're going to thread the paint saver key through and then we start twisting. And it just provides a little bit of extra tension and a little extra torque. I didn't do a very good job threading this one, so I'm gonna try again. There we go. Sometimes with Daniel Smith paints, because they're made from natural pigments, they can get a little bit stubborn in the tube. I use that tube of undersea green all the time. It's one of my favorite colors and it was being stubborn. All right, so that was a fairly easy fix. In my Grumbacher Academy Redemption video, I show how you can do surgery on a, on a tube of watercolor paint to get the very last drops out. But in most scenarios, that's not going to be necessary at all. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you, and I hope this has saved a tube or two of your favorite watercolor paint. So stress no more about whether or not you can get your paint out of the tubes. Hopefully this video was helpful, useful, and informative for you guys. And hopefully you guys will consider checking out Paint Keys.